In Akkadian mythology, the Robisu, the Lurker, or possibly Rabasa, are evil vampiric spirits, or demons, that are always menacing the doorways to houses, and hiding in dark corners, lurking and waiting to attack people. It is said that pure sea salt can ban them, as salt represents the incorruptible life. In the underworld, they live in the desert of anguish, attacking newly arrived souls as they travel down the road of bone to the city of the dead. The Book, The Religion of Babylonia and Assyria by Theophilus G. Pinchers describes the Rabisu as being the Caesar, which probably ends up being Caesar. There is also a Caesar of the Tablets of Destinies named Zu. Rabbi Zu, which is regarded as a spirit which lay in wait to pounce upon its prey. Chapter 4, lines 6 and 7 of the book of Genesis reads, So the Lord said to Cain, Why are you so resentful and crestfallen? If you do well, you can hold up your head. But if not, sin is a demon lurking at the door. His urge is towards you, yet you can be his master. Or in Genesis 4-7, If thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door. The New American Bible, among others, believes that demon lurking, which in Hebrew means the croucher, is similar to the word rabisu. Therefore it is possible that this displays a continued tradition. And we know who that bloody tradition is, don't we? Rabisu is listed in the rituals of Shurupu, which have to do with burning, such as the symbolic burning of witches. So the burning of witches, which caused mass lamentation, is feeding the Rabisu. The Shurupu ritual allows the banishment of Rabesu, which is described as a demon that springs unawares on its victims. So that would be the real meaning behind Rabbi. Springtime would be a god of fertility. Springing upon somebody would be an act of war. Which do you prefer? If you prefer springtime, then you may be sprung upon. In the book, Simon Necronomicon, which includes a blend of myths, including Sumerian, Rabisu are described as ancient demons. It talks about the god Marduk, who battled Tiamat, King U, and Azag, Tehut. Among the 50 names of Marduk is the name Naril Ugal Demir Ankia, which is the sixth name. Naril Ugal Demir Ankia is said to be the sub-commander of the Wind Demons, described as the foe of Rabesu and all the Maskem that haunt humans.
Marduk's seventh name, Azaruludu, is said to have the power, using his sacred word, to banish all Maskim and Rabesu. So both the names, Adapa and Azaruludu, are said to dispel demons. But Naril Ogal Dami Ankia is said to be the sub commander of wind demons, but is described as the foe of Rabisu. In the Enuma Elish, Marduk is the commander of the evil winds. The winds set forth onto Tiamat. It is Marduk that commands the wind. The meaning of Rabisu. Rabisu, also meaning fiend, known as Ilu Lemnutum, which means evil god. Rabbi means springtime or spring upon. Zu means him or he, and refers to Sin, Enzu, the moon god. I think it is quite fitting that I finish on Isaiah 45.7. I, God, form the light and create darkness. I make peace and I create evil. I am the Lord who does all of these. The very books that warn us of these entities are the books that contain the information, which were forbidden to be in writing. So where does the Rabisu lie, lurking and waiting? Please support my work via Patreon. Patreon.com slash ancient mystery.